What's up everybody, welcome to another honest review video. Today we are gonna talk about a new mini PC. I have bought another mini PC from Geekom. Yeah, it's a Geekom Mini IT12. If you have watched my other videos, then you may already know that we have been using four different Geekom Mini PCs in our studio for a couple of years. Geekom Mini IT12 is powered by a Intel 12th generation i5 12450H CPU. This is a very capable CPU. I have bought this 16 gigabyte RAM and one terabyte storage edition. So this is a super monster. I have been using Geekom Mini IT12 for the past couple of weeks. I think this is the correct time to share my honest opinion with you. If you are in the market looking for a budget and affordable mini PC, which offers a very good performance and also comes with a value for money type of price tag, then I think you should check this Geekom Mini IT12. As usual, we will start from unboxing, but before that, one request, if you end up liking this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content. Here is our Geekom Mini IT12. It is built with aluminium. Actually, Geekom always uses premium materials to manufacture their products. And all of the Geekom Mini PCs have a very good sturdy build quality. Geekom Mini IT12 has passed a lot of tests such as vibration test, drop test, temperature and humidity test, port test, noise test, and this and that many different tests. So all the mini PCs of Geekom goes through a very good quality control. Mini IT12 has an aluminium frame and body, but okay, Geekom had to use a plastic top lid cause that works as the antenna for the Wi-Fi. Mini IT12 has an ultra fast Wi-Fi 6E, a new 6 GHz band doubling the combined bandwidth of 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz for faster connectivity and fewer device disruptions. This ultra-fast Wi-Fi 6C ensures that we can watch 8K movies, play games and download large files without any buffering or without any hiccups. Well, in front there are two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, a 3.5mm headphone jack and a power button. There is a LED light integrated into the power button. On the right side, there is a Kensington lock port. At the back, there is a DC port to connect the power brick. There are two USB 4.0 ports which supports 40 gigabit per second data transfer rate. Yeah, it's nice to see that Geekom has added two HDMI 2.0 ports. There is a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 port and a USB 2.0 port. On the left side, there is a SD card slot and yeah, that's all. I'm truly surprised to see a lot of ports on a tiny little PC. It's really good to see that on the left, on the right and at the back, there are a lot of vents. Yeah, the processor included inside this mini PC is an i5 Intel processor, a 12th generation one. So thermal management is very important. And okay, Geekom has tried to keep the processor cool with a very big heatsink and lots of vents. There are four screws at the bottom. After unscrewing these four screws, we can remove the bottom cover, but you need to be careful because there is a connected ribbon cable inside. Don't break it. We can easily add an additional SSD drive and that means we can easily expand our storage. At the beginning, I was a bit worried. I thought that this mini PC would come with a single stick. That means a single channel RAM. But I'm surprised. I'm actually very happy to see that Geekom has used a dual channel RAM. So yeah, there are two sticks. And yeah, that means there are two RAM slots, which we can use to expand our RAM. We can expand these RAMs with two DDR4-3200 RAMs. And we can actually expand up to 64 GB of RAM which I think for a mini PC is kind of overkill. Anyway, it's uh, really nice to see that Geekom has provided a very good quality M.2 NVMe drive. I have already mentioned I've got the one terabyte edition and I'm gonna expand my storage through a SATA SSD drive. Well, I have tested the provided NVMe drive with a crystal disk mark. 
have managed to got more than 1300 megabyte per second write speed and 3100 megabyte per second read speed so yeah that's really a very good speed no complaint okay there are two other things i need to mention about this drive and transfer speed the first thing is geekom has provided a very nice heatsink for this nvme drive so even after heavy load for hours after hours the nvme drive doesn't throttle and the second thing is as this mini pc i mean this mini it12 has a two usb4 ports which supports 40 gigabit per second data transfer rate we not only get a very fast data transfer rate through those two ports we can also do a lot of things like we can also get video output from those ports so that means we have four video outputs at the same time because geekom mini it12 already have two hdmi 2.0 ports moreover we'll be able to get 8k resolution i mean if you have a 8k monitor to those two USB 4 ports. I have tried to transfer a lot of data from this disk to that disk and the transfer speed and performance is really very good. Well, even if I personally care about real life performance, I know a lot of you, a lot of my viewers and subscribers, you guys care about benchmarks. So let's check the benchmark performance. I ran Cinebench release 23, which is known as R23 on this Geekom Mini IT12. And I really didn't have very big expectations. Even if Geekom Mini IT12 is equipped with a 12th gen i5 processor, it is a mobile chipset. So truly, I didn't have any big expectation. But after I have checked the result, I was like, wow, it's really very good. Geekom Mini IT12 has scored more than 7,350 in multi-core and 1,530 in single core. Okay, Cinebench performance is really very good, above standard. What about gaming performance? Talking about gaming performance, I think we should check 3DMark, the gamer's benchmark. Look at this, 909 in times pi. Okay. I cannot say this is one of the highest, but that's truly higher than what I have expected. The graphics score is also very nice, above standard, 792. More importantly, look at that CPU score, 5729. Kudos to Geekom because they have managed to extract the best performance from this CPU. Okay, if you are gonna buy this mini PC for office work or for different work scenarios where multitasking is a very important thing, then I can recommend this mini PC without any hesitation. But I know some of you would like to tweak and extract something more. So let me tell you something. Yeah, this Geekom Mini IT12 is equipped with a very capable older like i5 CPU and it has a TDP of 35 watt. So that means this CPU offers a very good performance and at the same time is an energy efficient CPU. As usual, I have played some online games, some graphics intensive games and some of my workmates in this studio, they have played GTA 5. The performance of graphics intensive online games are fantastic. I cannot say Geekom Mini IT12 will offer battery smooth gaming performance because this isn't a gaming PC, but among all the mini PCs which are equipped with all the like i5 CPU, I think Geekom Mini IT12 is one of the best. It offers a very high frame rate and I have never seen any thermal throttling. Before verdict, there are two other things I need to mention. The first thing is price. Geekom Mini IT12 costs less than 500 US dollars. Considering the specification, considering the performance, this price tag is actually on a cheaper side. Yeah, I know some of you may feel like 500 US dollars for 12th gen i5 mini PC. Come on, you need to check the performance. We don't use any other i5 mini PCs in this studio. We have even done some editing on this mini PC and I haven't seen any lag. The second thing is customer support. I have been using Geekom mini PCs for almost three years now. I have got the first Geekom mini PC back in 2022. Then I have bought two other in 2023. Then I have bought three other in 2024. And all through these years, I've got a very good customer support from Geekom. I want to mention the name of some other brands, but I won't. Please check my channel. There are some other brands which some of you may feel like very big brands doesn't even offer any customer support. It's from my personal experience. I have even made videos about those brands. So yeah, if you care about customer support, then Geekom is one of the best.
Well, that's all about this Geekom Mini IT12. I'm in love with this PC. We have like more than 12 different mini PCs in this studio. And among all those mini PCs, this Geekom Mini IT12 offers the best value for money when it comes to price per performance ratio, period. That's the end of this video. I have left a link of this Geekom Mini IT12 in the description box. If you are interested, go ahead check the product. But before that, if you have liked this video, then please don't forget to click on the like button and please subscribe to this channel. Support honest content.